tired of eating the same bullshit meals every day, day after day? Have you ever been curious about what happens when you mix barbecue with Mexican food? I'm here today to give you a bomb ass barbecue burrito. Stick with me and I'm taking you to the promised land. That ass barbecue burrito. We got these vegan sausages here. Um, this brand is Tofurky. It's a brand called Tofurky. They make some bomb ass sausages. Um, they got different flavor profiles. I can't remember particularly what this flavor profile for this one is. I want to say applewood, applewood smoke, but I always transform the flavor profile anyway, so I'm not really stuck on that. Alright guys, this is one step to these really cool bomb ass barbecue burritos. We got some a uh, little hash brown potatoes that I bought from Walmart. I hit them with this really cool season blend that I made. It consists of cumin, garlic powder, onion powder, pepper, a little bit, little bit of salt, chili powder, and thyme. I tried to stay with the traditional, you know, barbecue profile. Um, the reason I added a little bit of salt is because I don't want this too salty. I'm going to add salt later on when I make my part two phase with these potatoes. So go ahead. Got the bad boy on broil. Stick them in here. Turn the eye on. Boom. I'm going to come back and see what these baby boys look like. These vegan sausages. I'm getting ready to drop them in this cast iron pan. I got it rip roaring hot. And that's what you want. You want to create some texture. Drop them in there. Boom, boom, boom. Drop them in there. Make sure they're facing down. These don't need salt, guys. Keep in mind. Alright, now I got this good, sexy texture that you need on these. I'm going to go ahead and season them up. Cover them up. Drop the cast iron. A little bit of water. Drop the heat down. I'm gonna drop these leftover king oyster mushrooms I made. These got these barbecue juices already on them from the other my uh, barbecue slaw biscuit video. I got these left over. This cast iron creates a really sexy moisture. So don't be afraid of the heat. Just respect the cast iron. It's a iron beast. But look how succulent and juicy it makes everything. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Now we'll go drop some BBQ. Drop some of my season blend in there. I'm gonna throw a little cayenne in there for me. Just a little bit, because the missus doesn't like that much spice. I know you said, why are you putting water, man? Isn't it gonna make it watery? No, it won't. No, it won't. It's gonna reduce and create a really sexy sauce for these bomb ass barbecue burritos. 
Drop a little more of that seasoning blend. Just flavor that water. Come back very shortly and watch what our efforts yield. All right. This is the end result of our vegan sausage poured king oyster mushroom medley. Look has what happened to this barbecue sauce that I doctrined up and dropped some H2O to it. It reduced. Look at that. Look at that reduction. And with the cap, the heat of the cast iron, it's going to thicken up even more. So if you can take it off the heat. Grab your top. And it's going to continue to thicken from the heat of this crazy hot cast iron. Check me out, guys, for the next step of these BBQ bomb ass bbq burrito all right this is the foundation for our smashed mashed potatoes that's gonna be our little wet wet beautifulness for the badass barbecue burrito so i got some finely minced garlic and red onion now with the if you got a copper pot your first time Remember, they get extremely hot. So be careful. You want to add a little salt whenever you're sauteing garlic or onion. Oops. Pull out the moisture. And just slowly saute things. It takes about 20 minutes to get them beautifully translucent. But with these, I'm just trying to lightly saute them. They're mints, like I said, so they're going to cook a lot quicker. I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing next. Next. Drop those potatoes from earlier. Drop them in there, boom. We got these leftover smash potatoes that I made from our barbecue uh, coleslaw biscuit sandwich. So we got these leftovers, don't waste nothing. Drop these in here. What these hash browns are gonna do is create a lot of good texture for this. Premium mashed potato. Drop a little liquid. A little bit of milk. Next we're gonna drop some ricotta. I know you think of ricotta. It's a great Sexy dairy. It's got a great distinct flavor. And it's just gonna add to the to the overall creamy texture that I'm trying to create. The little pepper. Add to taste. Same with the ricotta. I probably did about three tablespoon pepper this is why I didn't add salt this is why I didn't add salt earlier because I know I was going to salt my creamy sauce so the butter in there Time to this bad boy. And now, give it a quick stir. This is going to thicken up. We're going to turn up the heat and I'm going to return, guys. Show you what I'm working with. All right, guys, this is your finishing, finished product. These are my creamy, creamy smashed potatoes you see what those chunks of hash brown do they create texture and you mix them with those previous mashed potatoes man crazy then your foundation is your garlic and your your minced red onions and garlic 
That's your foundation. We got thyme in there. We got ricotta. We got cheese. We got butter. We got milk. This is the old man to a French style of cooking. And go finish it off with some olive oil. That's just going to add to that fresh component and kind of lighten up all the denseness of this dairy. Let's give it a little splash. Stir. And, to, and also the olive oil is going to add more depth of flavor. Going to cut through all this heaviness. Let's give that a taste. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. My wife is going to love this. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. Alright guys. Meet me on the next step. I'm getting ready to assemble these bad boys. But I might need a little help. Let's see who I can get. Normally wifey rolls the burritos man. She has a technique with them. That is so beautiful. So I had to get my partner in crime, my road dog, my burrito baby, to help me with these. Now she's gonna show you guys how to assemble, assemble a badass barbecue burrito or any burrito in general. All right, baby girl. All right, what you doing with this first step here? I'm putting it on the burrito. <laughs> Why are you putting this? This creamy mashed potato first. Um, I normally either do the coarse courses item we have first. Okay, courses. Um, <laughs> the most coarse. The most coarse. Now, what will this cause? Will this cause some type of moisture effect, or what? what what's the? No, it just helps with the structure of the burrito. Structure, foundation, foundation, guys. All right, what's your next thing? Okay, boom. Now, why are you putting this sexy, sexy meatless meat on here for a second? Um, I don't know. Boom. <laughs> All right, I'm going to tell you guys why she's doing this. <laughs> you want to, your foundation is those mashed potatoes. So second, you want to add your meatless meat so it can stick and stay in place in your burrito. Yes. Okay. Next, we add in the wet, wet. This is the soul made slaw, guys, that I made in the previous video with the BBQ biscuits. This is the slaw right here, guys, from the previous video with the BBQ biscuits. All right, boom, we drop it in there. All right. What's your next step? Grease the pan. Now, this is a foreman grill. So this I can just um, put the burrito directly on it when I'm done. Directly on there. Foreman grill, invest. It makes dope, dope, crispy burritos. All right. Now roll it up. Okay. Well. Oh yeah. See the tuck job, guys. She's tucking them sides. Treat it like a newborn baby. Transfer it. And we're going to be back here in how long, baby girl? Um, about three minutes. About three minutes. And watch what happens. Wifey took it off the grill. Foreman. Now I'm going to cut this bad boy open. You want to take, you don't want to drag because it's going to split. Just take it. Cut it very gently. Pull it apart. Look what we got here, guys. We got these smashed mashed potatoes. You got the slaw, and you got the innards of the meatless meat. The texture is created from the slaw. You got the creaminess and the contrast of that barbecue sauce. Sexy, sexy, sexy. This is how you do it, guys. This is how you do it. And this also is a very inexpensive meal. It costs nothing. The burrito was like $2. The innards cost like 3 The slaw was inexpensive. You're coming to maybe a total of $9 for your stuff. Alright guys, there you go. Another dope cooking video. The badass, bomb ass, 
BBQ Burritos. Man, I'm going to keep coming with this fire, guys. Just hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification button. You know what to do. Show some love, baby.